One evening, Thomas and Percy were with their drivers, were discussing with, with who they saw Timothy. I'm telling you, Burns, I saw Timothy, and even Toby did, and if he was here, he'd tell you his encounter. I don't know what you guys are saying, but there is no such thing as ghosts. I've even had my encounter once, but I don't really want to talk about it. Me and Toby saw it, along with Percy. Yeah, I saw it too. Don't forget about me, I also saw it. The ghost is Timothy, Thomas's brother. T T Thomas is Thomas's brother. Yes. The ghost train is known as Timothy. He has six small wheels, except he is silver and has the number zero on his side. And he was an old engine who had wrinkles on his face. I remember when I used to work here a long time ago that he was very quiet, but would often lose his temper. But apparently the manager was going to scrap him. But the manager got on board the train it was his last run before he was going to get scrapped. And then I guess he ran off the cliff. And I guess he was getting his revenge so um, he wouldn't get scrapped. He killed him along with the passengers and himself. Okay, okay, okay. So, this ghost train is supposedly Thomas's brother who went insane and ran off a cliff and uh, killed everyone? Yes, that's what we're trying to say. I still don't believe you guys, and to go prove it, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go to, actually, <laughs> I've dealt with ghosts before. I remember my son had one in his closet, and we just moved out. But this isn't a ghost. This is a ghost train. And if you never heard of a ghost train before, then you don't want to deal with it. Ha! Huh. You really, really think that this ghost train is real? Yes, it's real. It's real. We've had our encounter with it before. Ha! Huh. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go prove to y'all that this ghost train isn't real. Huh. Stupid guys trying to believe me that the ghost train's real. He's gonna get himself done. Yep, like we said before, dungeon rings. Whoa, well, ghost, I'm here. Aren't you gonna get me? He, he didn't believe anything until he realized that he heard a whistle. Show yourself! No one replied. I said, show yourself, dang it! Still no reply. Huh, that is weird. But I swear I heard a whistle. It must be my imagination. I must be okay. losing it. Bert was terrified with what he saw. A ghost train was coming right in front of him. Ah! only to disappear when it touched him, right into thin air. Burnt was left with so many questions. Like, what happened? How did it disappear? And was it really a ghost? Oh dear, oh dear, he said. What will the others think? And he walked off the train track.